you watching that, Mom? Hello and good morning everyone. Welcome back. I just walked in from running an errand. Today I went to the jewelry store. You guys haven't seen yesterday's video where my mom gifted me something so sweet and so amazing. She gifted me this beautiful diamond ring. It's stunning. Hazy and I went on a little jaunt to the jewelry store because I think it needs to be sized just a little bit smaller. That's where we just came from. Brandon is out. He went to go get the kids. Bringing them home from school. Sun is shining. It is bright and beautiful. Not a cloud in the sky. Absolutely amazing. We are ready to head into this weekend. Have some some fun. We actually have a very full packed weekend. Buckle up. While I was out, I had to stop and get a little gift basket. Person that actually sold us our lot was incredible. Like so beyond incredible. We were so grateful to him. He finished up building his brand new home like a week after we finalized everything on the lot. I stopped to get him this really cute basket from Neaters. It has some yummy bread. It smells like Asiago bread in there. Some cookies, some jam, and a caramel apple. We're gonna go deliver that to him tonight. Just a simple gesture. I feel like sometimes people lose the idea of just saying thank you. He really scored us the most perfect lot. If you haven't seen the video where we talk about us getting our lot, I can have Brandon link it for you. It was an awesome video. We feel like we really lucked out. Speaking of building, our neighbors must be finishing their basement because I'm watching them take out the window here, taking out the window right there, I believe, to pass the sheetrock down through into their basement to finish this guy out. But I will tell you, I'm probably gonna be glued to this window trying to figure out what they're gonna do to get that sheetrock in there. There is a gigantic truck here with tons of sheetrock that they're going to be putting into our neighbor's house. That's gonna be fun to watch. I just think this stuff is cool. And it gets me a little bit excited about, eventually we're gonna be doing this for our own house. This guy right here, it's kind of funny. You can't see through this window that I'm peeking on them because it's reflective from the outside. This guy is controlling the truck that's clear on the side of our house with that little thing on his back. Here you go. Sheet rock is just right here. It's extended clear over way against the side of the house. I need a hobby or something if this is what I'm gonna sit and do all day is watch these guys move sheet rock around. I am thoroughly entertained. It's a bird, it's a plane. It's a drywall delivery system. Ah! Loving the after school snack vibe and flow going on here. We got Hazy Girl getting her own after school snack, guys. It's a unique one. She got watermelon and Eggo waffles. I think that's gonna be delicious. Two of her favorites in one thing. Can't go wrong with that. Yeah. And I love that she's also getting the entire thing herself. She got the watermelon out, got the Eggo out. I think she even put it in the toaster herself. Eggo. She had to have her brother help reach the berry syrup, which she asked very nicely for the help. Cut this up, get some berry syrup. Me and Raga out here feeling some serious summer vibes, you guys. It is 80 degrees, sunny. People out working in the yard, you can smell grass, flowers, like it has that. that total vibe. So we're actually doing some popsicles right now. We are doing a Barks Root Beer Vanilla Cream Soda Popsicle. Raga said it comes highly recommended. Got this in one of our Sam's so or Costco good. hauls. I don't remember which one it was, but he's got the second to last one. I'm holding the last one in my hand right here. Just enjoying that summer vibe. Speaking of summer vibes, love that tie-dye shirt, bro. How did battle the books go? Very good. You guys got, uh, they didn't do like places. It was like you won it all or nothing, but you went against crew today. Yeah. And crew's not here, so we can say this. Smoked him. Smoked him pretty hard. Pretty 40 hard. 40 more points than him. Oh my gosh, you don't have to rub it in. Did have a ringer on the team. They got one of the best Battle of the Bookers. Battle of the Bookers. On their squad, the Bailey. Bookers. Battle of the Booker Bailey. Anyway, they crushed that. Kirby Doo did a, a great showing as well. Didn't his team do pretty well, though? Like, they did okay, right? Yeah. They did pretty good. Six versus fifth is hard, you know? Like, you got that extra year of experience. You've done it a few more times. Crew crushed it. I'm actually looking around trying to figure out where he was. I thought he was out here. Now I don't see him. But, rocking that tie dye shirt today. Yep. Came out from school. And some tie dye Very, pants. very easy to see you today when you came out of school. Speaking of coming out, of school we just locked down something insane Sheesh. and i mean Sheesh. 
Ashish for Riley's last day of school. Last day of sixth grade, last day of elementary school. Mom is sheeshing from across the street. I don't even know what the sheesh thing is. It's like, like it's wow. It's like wow? Yeah, like like if like something's wow. like totally cool? Is it a yeah, cool like thing? When, uh, like friends... if you see like a Lambo and you yeah, be like, you're like sheesh. You're like, wow. I've been doing it because they've been doing it and my gaming nerdy buddies do it. I've just been started doing it and Ryler kept telling me I was doing it wrong because I didn't do the shh at the end. I just do she and then I would stop and he's yeah. like, no, it's she. She. Yeah. It's just like the sheesh is like the sh part at the end is like way later. Sheesh. If you have to break it down, you're clearly doing it wrong. But we made a super sheesh move on Ryan Guy's last day of elementary school. So make sure you don't miss that because it's coming up in two weeks from today. Ooh. That is going down. Last day of elementary school, going into That's junior so high, weird. seventh grade, teenage life, student Stuka. council rep. Oh my gosh, so many big things, guys. So many big things. Sheesh. 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 What do we do? What do we got going down here, bro? We're gonna sell stuff like always. Are you selling stuff, guys? This is classic Crew and Claire summer vibes right here. Setting up some kind of a stand to sell something. Baked goods, nice. snow cones. Snow cones and Italian ice cream. Okay, snow cones and Italian ice cream, guys. I might have to take you up on that. That sounds like a delicious thing. Remember you guys made that menu last year? You made up all the fun names for the different snow cones and stuff? That was pretty cool. Where did you get all this stuff? Is this all yours? Getting real over here. They're setting up shop. We've got power coming to the snow cone machine. They're apparently doing mixed sodas, Italian shave ices with all kinds of flavors. We got pineapple, blackberry, coconut cream, coconut straws. Where are you getting all this stuff? Claire's house. Claire's house. Claire, we're gonna owe your family a Costco run when this is over. Hopefully, you guys make enough money to repay all the ingredients you got out here. This is like next level, you guys. Snow cone shack looking pretty dope. What do you think, Greg? Guy? <laughs> the very first sale of the day was to our UPS guy. He got out of his truck after making a delivery at the house. Kyle. His name is Kyle. We freaking love him. We see him more often than we probably should. But he got the first drink of the day and he refused to take it for free. We tried to be like, dude, you are such a hard worker. You're always here delivering packages, busting your butt. And he's like, no, I'm paying for this drink. Paid the kids a buck for a raspberry dream, which is Dr. Pepper, raspberry, and, and coconut cream. Coconut cream said is one of the best drinks you've ever had, guys. So first customer of the day, major success. Yeah. Well, I think we see more customer. Just kidding, she's an employee. She works here. <laughs> Oh my gosh, sweet and condensed milk. This place has it all. Dad, I had it too, but I ate all of it. Oh, you did? That's good. Open Saturday. Guys, come. customers flowing pretty hard right now. We gotta name this snow cone shack so it has a cool name. Open Sesame. It's Clue. Knock off it's a clue. clue. Oh, it's I like clue. that. I like that. Wait. Put together. So get a clue. I like it. <laughs> Pineapple, coconut, tiger's blood, bubble gum, peach, kiwi, raspberry, strawberry, blackberry, no. coconut, and vanilla. The crowd is insane. At Clue, we're calling it Clue, a combination of Claire and Crew that came up with that one. But at the Clue Shack, it is nuts. I'm gonna get you a little overhead shot from up in the toy room here because the crowd is nutsos out there right now. Apparently, everybody's been dying for a summer snow cone. This might be the most successful snow cone shack they've ever set up. I think maybe people have been waiting for that summer vibe, that feeling of summer more than usual coming over to grab a snow cone. Plus they have a lot of offerings today. They've got a lot of different snow cone flavors and they thought of this brilliant idea that they've got something for the kids as well as the parents if the parents come over. So they've got sodas they can mix up that are more adult oriented towards the parents and then they've got the snow cones for the kids. Brilliant strategy on their part. The second customer that we had ironically and hilariously were Claire's parents. If you didn't catch on at the beginning, everything out there came from their house. So they came and severely overpaid for, I think, one drink. I don't even think they got a second drink. I think they got one drink. So not only is it their own ingredients from their own house, but they came and seriously overpaid. As the second customer, I wanted to introduce you guys to them. If you don't know who they are, it's the McNeil fam on YouTube. You can check them out. Claire and Carmen's parents, Clay and Terry McNeil. Anyways, they're awesome. We just got caught up talking and I forgot to turn on the camera. Go check them out. Show them some love. You know they're awesome people when they provide all of the ingredients for the snow shack and then they also come and pay like 20 bucks for a cup of Mountain Dew. Crew, how much money you made, bro? We have $35. Yeah! <laughs> That's insane, dude. Business is booming, bro. The new thing of business is booming, baby. Sheesh!
All right, guys, continuing with the summer vibes, little outdoor pizza party going down. We got some little Caesars laid out on the same table that they were just selling snow cones at. Ooh, we got the three meat oh, stuffed crust right? over there, or the thick crust over there. We should have some thin no, crust pepperoni. We got so many shishas in this vlog, it's not even funny. <laughs> So the original plan was just to have the snow cone crew, player crew, and Ash Bash eat the pizza with us. I think we may have over ordered a little bit. We might start inviting the neighbors to come over and eat pizza because we have a lot of pizza, a lot of crazy bread. I don't even know what happened. I had like a momentary lapse in judgment. <laughs> I think you maybe were hungry, hungry when you were ordering. <laughs> Hazy, do you want some pizza with your ranch? Yeah. Hey, may I come here oh and my. see how much I put? Oh my <laughs> ranch. That is Mindy's daughter. Heck yeah! Mom carries ranch in her purse just in case the restaurants don't have it. Don't tell people that. We went and dropped off that basket. What an amazing guy! He's the guy who actually helped us find the lot. It's almost impossible to find land. The fact that he scored us that piece of heaven. This guy is next level amazing. He's so awesome. huge shout out and thank you to him. We dropped off the basket and it was really fun. Yeah, we ended up being there a little bit later than. We planned on getting the kids into bed now. Fun day though. Kids started a brand new business, selling I snow mean, cones and drinks. I mean, I would come drinks. every time. In fact, I think uh, I still have the money. Better pay up, better Mindy. Pay up. Your credit is not good around here, okay? <laughs> Tomorrow, guys, first thing, me and mom heading off to a very serious, very thorough, very intense design meeting for the home. We're gonna yeah. nail those plans down, we hope. So, I'm kinda nervous. that's how the day's awesome, starting. Though. Weekend's gonna be nuts. We have things going on, kids parties. We've got old neighborhood parties. We've got three birthday parties this weekend. Lots We're gonna be busy. Make sure you come back. We love you guys so much. Thanks for hanging and we'll see you Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. You guys freaking sold that so good. Six birth is fit. Six birth is. Six birth. Whoa!